one of the questions that I get asked with by watermelon farmers has been about uh, what exactly to use when it comes to spraying melon. Of course, uh, if you are thinking of venturing into melon farming, one thing you have to know is that most of the varieties that we have at the moment, they are not grown organically. So somehow you'll have to use fertilizer, you'll have to use insecticide, and also you'll have to use fungicide. Now I'm standing in one of my watermelon garden right here in Gulu district in northern Uganda. And today is day 19 after planting this melon. We are just done with the uh, first weeding. And of course, I think you can see how the garden is looking. The melon are now at their vegetative stage. So I've already done the first spring that was last week. And today I'm doing the second spring. Now, this video will be to answer your question. If you are already an existing watermelon farmer or you're just thinking of starting it and then you want to know which fertilizer exactly, which insecticide or which fungicide should you use to spray your watermelon. Now when you are starting watermelon farming, there are about two or three things that you have to know. One, uh, you'll have to try to protect it from getting attacked by fungal diseases. Uh, secondly, there is a lot of insects that usually disturb our melon. They can cut it because, you know, the, the melon, it's kind of sweet, even actually the, the, the plants itself to some of the insects, it's very sweet. So they can be cutting it or they can be destroying the vegetative bit of it. So it's a good idea to protect it from those things. And also, you'll of course have to be using fertilizer from stages to stages to boost it. Now, starting with uh, the fungicide, which is very important, which fungicide exactly should you use? Uh, there is a fungicide called endophil. Uh, some people also call it mango zeb. Now, mango zeb is a broad spectrum chemical that actually helps to fight fungal infections in most of these vegetables. So you can use it. And then mango zeb comes in powdery form. And then usually you should measure like uh, 40 to 50 grams. So a simple way to do it, you just use the spoon this small spoon that we use for eating you measure like five of them so one spoon is equivalent to 10 grams so if you measure five of them that is equivalent to 50 grams so another one uh, the insecticide that you should use to help fight again some of the insects that would maybe come and they eat the leaves of your watermelon uh, there, there's a lot i can recommend uh, we have insecticide like rocket, uh, we have insecticide like uh, dodo or ceramatin, we have insecticide like striker, so you can just choose in among them, but almost they are all the same. Though for striker, I would only recommend that you use it at the very first beginning, first stage, then maybe along the way you can either go with striker or you go with a doodoo or ceramatin. Uh, there's also what is called predex. Uh, some people also use that, it's very okay. Then thirdly, uh, the fertilizer to use. There's quite a lot of fertilizers actually to use because with, with watermelon, you usually involve certain things from stages to stages. Right now, I've said it's, it's day 19. So I'm still at the vegetative stage of, of, of the melon. So usually you can start with a, a fertilizer called Easy Grow Vegetative. Then when it reaches some stage where it starts flowering, you can use what is called Easy Grow Fruit and Flower. 
uh, there are other fertilizers actually that you can always use apart from that but that is my recommendation uh, some people there's also another liquid fertilizer it's called green booster I would also recommend that I think it comes from Kenya uh, so some also, some people also use super grow so it's also in liquid form so that's basically some of the things you'll need to use if you are growing watermelon and uh, I hope this video answers your question otherwise uh, this melon right here is here and uh, it will be managed well if you are also a buyer who is interested yeah in the next few months this melon should be ready now uh, lastly as I end this video I'm going to give you some tip about weeding Usually, melon takes around uh, three to five days or sometimes to seven days to germinate. That is if your garden is well prepared. So depending on the status of your garden, it's better to do fast weeding as soon as possible. Like maybe two weeks after planting, you can do the fast weeding. So now, if you're doing your weeding, uh, usually when you're weeding you can bring some of the soil then you put it like like uh, near the near the near your melon plant because that also helps then of course you can also think of top dressing maybe uh, the third week or the fourth week something like that so the, some people do top dress theirs with a can some people do use NPK, so you can decide on which one to use. So also at this stage, after first weeding, if you want to do the mulching, you can also think of doing that. That would be the best time for you to actually do the mulching before they start spreading in the garden. Because you know, melon, they spread through the entire garden. In the next few weeks from now, this melon that you're seeing will be all over this garden. My name is Charles Layo and I am the Ugandan farmer. Of course, I'm here to share farming education. We do extension services online. We also do visit farmers also. If this has been helpful to you in any way, feel free to subscribe and then share your thoughts. If you have any inquiry, you want to make consultation or you want us to pay you a visit to your farm, yeah, reach out, then we'll be more than happy to do that. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.